Life has a beginning, a middle, and an end. The story begins in Zama, Japan. Zama, Japan is ancient origins. It's been around for centuries and centuries. They even say prehistoric times. But what Zama is probably most famous for, Zama housed the emperor Showa's imperial army. So through the town of Zama, you have to know that in the water, in the blood, there are warriors. I think in a way, deep in his veins, he's got that blood that came from the emperor's imperial army. Because it flows through the streams, you breathe in the air, there's a quiet confidence and there's warriors that come out of that town. It has long been debated if a monster entered the world that way or whether it became otherworldly after birth. in a way was born into boxing because his father, Shingo, was a boxer. He's the son of a fighter. So that means it's in his disposition. It's in his earliest training. It, it, it's the way that he looks at himself. In Japanese culture, you honor your parents. It's probably far less likely for in a way to separate from his father than say an American fighter or a fighter from another culture. He has been pushed to the brink by his father. And because of that, you have seen this incredible attention to detail. And he's brought out the best in his son. Sometimes the scariest monsters are the ones that are least expected. He comes off as very soft-spoken. He has these boy band looks where you wouldn't think this guy is one of the most destructive forces in all of boxing. Generally speaking, a Japanese boxer, they're not prone or predisposed to self-promotion. You never belittle your opponent. You don't want to show too much confidence because that's looked at as being disrespectful, not only to your opponent, but to your sport. It's like a foreign temperament to us. You know, we really want, like, Mike Tyson, I'm going to eat your children. What we get with, in a way, is something we're not familiar with. OK, you said that about me. You're going to beat me. OK. All right, see you in the ring. That's it. Just because you're the loudest dog don't mean you're the baddest dog. I was always afraid of those guys that didn't talk, didn't say too much. He's that guy. He don't talk. He don't say anything at all. Monster! The Japanese culture is a very humble culture. But do not mistake humble for weak. Do not mistake kindness for the lack of ferocity. This guy is a beast. The thing about monsters is they're inhuman, possessing powers never seen before. Power is a gift. It's a gift from God. And I'm not even a religious man, but that power comes someplace from deep inside. Either you have it or you don't. You can teach boxing, you can teach how to throw a jab, but you can't teach power. I've seen the biggest, most muscular guys that do all type of strength and conditioning workouts that can't put people down like that. I think the reason why he's so powerful is the technique behind it, his mechanics behind it. And you do it over and over and over in the gym until it's perfected. And now every shot is devastating. To have power in your hands like that, it, it's relegated to the big guys. You, when you're that small, you're not supposed to have that much power. He has something in his hand that no one else has, and it's basically a bomb. 